west of Lexington, Nebraska on Highway 30. The motocross track, a busy place for NMCA racers. The NCMA, Nebraska Cornhusker Motocross Association. Lex MC hosting riders for a fun and challenging day of racing for those racers who belong to this big racing family. Everybody in the group is super friendly, very helpful. Tips on bike purchasing, safety gear, I mean, anything like that, everybody is super helpful. Um, just get your kids out, ride, you know, just get on the track, have fun. The more seat time they get, the better they'll get, and the more fun they'll have. I was a kid, I, I was definitely scared. I, I wouldn't be able to hit the things that I hit now. And just since I've done it for so long, it's no fear, you have to commit to your jump. And Once you're in the air, just go for it, just huh? Just go for it. I want to say five is the beginning age and we've got some riders that show up sometimes that are in their 70s. So it's for everybody. It's for everybody. I've been racing ever since I was four years old. A lot of experience with it. I like going fast because my mom used to race and my grandpa is racing. So now my grandpa and my mom have been teaching me how to race. Um, because you could go fast and um, rub the engine so much and um, learn about mom. So mom, she's raced before, so you kind of want to be like mom? This circuit, it's, it's amazing. It's one big family. Most of these people have known me since I was on a PW, on a Wee riding and now here we are with our kids and we can do the same thing to each other it's just one big happy family end it, buddy. <laughs> these guys are third generation in my family uh, so I've been I rode from the time I was four years old and I still ride every once in a while I raced from four to 17 when I got pregnant with my oldest um, it's just been a family sport my grandpa rode and raced my dad uh, road and still continues to race he's one of the oldest ones on the track today i think um and it's just been a big family sport and it's just what we always do some people do football some people do baseball we do dirt bikes my daughter was second generation of me and my brothers were first and uh, it just i've been doing it for over 35 years and it's it's just become a passion and i'm you know glad i could pass it on to these guys three generations of racing and the dog <laughs> It was, it's just always been fun. And now seeing my kids are able to do it, it brings it to a whole nother level. Cause you're not just the one out there. You have the adrenaline of watching your kids race, but you also have the fear that they're going to hurt themselves. My biggest thing with my family is it gets them away from all the social media stuff, the video games, sitting on the couch, gets them outside. They get them out some fresh air, you know, get, have some fun. It's great once they get involved and they like it i mean it's super addictive super fun the kids can't wait for the next race go out to go practice uh second overall and then 250c class and i got second in the first moto of the 450 so <laughs> love racing. It's been in my family for years, so keep it going. I started racing two years ago, but I've been on a bike for probably 10 years. Oh, and how old are you now? 16. Do you like racing better than driving a car? Yes. Yeah? Yeah, I like racing better. Reward you just gotta survive and keep it on its wheels and you should be doing good and just dreams to come true. What would you say to kids that would like to race that have never raced before? Um it's super fun. A lot of good people, a lot of competition. <laughs> you get to go fast and hit big jumps. I love the family. 
just getting out here and with this group it's all family i mean they put stuff together it's great it's everybody helps everybody somebody's bike breaks everybody's dad's in there helping out moms are in there helping out it's it's awesome this is my family everyone here is we all love each other we all will support each other someone needs help you know help them It don't matter whose it is, there's a mom or dad out there helping them out, getting them up and going. <laughs> her to Oklahoma and to Illinois in June and depending on how she does there if she's one of the top 42 in the United States she'll move on to Loretta Lynn's to compete for a pro card. I have three kids doing this and it's just been a wonderful family sport. Kept them out of trouble and made us proud the whole way. All three of them. So her little sister's here. Bria. <laughs> Is set. She's seven, and she races in the Pee Wee C class. My my sister and my brother race, and I thought I would just be a part of the group. And um, I think it's really fun. And my dad taught me how to how to prepare to crash and how to prepare to jump the hill. He taught me how to not to fall, and that's pretty much it. Okay, so it's fun. Are you really good? Uh, not the best. Are you going to be better than your brother and sister when you get older? Maybe. <laughs> awesome. Thank you. Dad slash grandpa. He's raised me ever since I was a kid. So. Love you, Dad. Love you, Thank you for all the races you let me ride. No problem. With racing, with it being on every weekend, when I was growing up, I couldn't do wrestling because all their camps were over the weekend. And football, there's a couple times that inter intertwine, so I was a little bit into football, but racing is my thing. I'd, I'd rather race until the day I die. Yeah, this is your passion. Well, I, I know I need to start working out a lot more. Uh, a, well, July 2nd, 2017, I ended up wrecking on this track and breaking my back. And so ever since then, I just haven't worked out. I don't want to push myself too much, but I know riding these bikes probably isn't the best either, best idea for it. Back on here, then I took taking the bike back, got 450, and I wrecked up there in the brick. We went down the front end with a pad on, and I broke my neck. I was hoping it up in the hospital the same day. In the same day? Same day. Not even five minutes apart. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, I had, my mom wasn't too happy. <laughs> Stress, stressing real hard. Big risk you could take. You could any any little wrong mistake. You hit a jump, it'll you could throw your bike over too far, and you could land real hard, or you could over jump, under jump. A lot of little things that add up that could either hurt somebody very bad, or you know they'll wreck really hard. Which you know no one tries to do. No one wants to go out and wreck, but it's part of racing. It's just so fun for me, you know, coming out, even just seeing everybody and, you know, all the smiles for everybody and helping all the kids and 
to know that, you know, maybe 10 years from now, I could be helping some little kid, and then, you know, he maybe he goes pro level with it, you know, and I could say, hey, you know, I taught that kid, and it's definitely something, it's, it's fun. That's awesome. Are you proud of him? No, oh, he's, he's been a good champion. <laughs> absolute joy because they're they're doing what I do and it, and it you know it gives me something to pass down so yeah it's awesome yeah, this is our bond this is the one thing we might argue about other things or not get along about other things or not have anything else in common but this is the one bond that we share I don't think this one is great as long as they're, they're starting out young they can keep going I'm 61 years old and I still you're at 62 too. not till next month <laughs> you're 62 so, you know, we, like I said, this is our bond. This is what we do together. What do you guys think of Grandpa? Yeah, he's I, great. I do. Do you think everybody who's seven should ride a motorcycle? Why? Because they might be pretty good at it. Awesome. Do you have anything else you want to tell me about racing? Mm, no. Thank you so much. <laughs> truly enjoyable day out in Lexington on Sunday at the racetrack. These kids and grown-ups will race again on June 3rd and 4th in Juanita. Reporting from Lexington, I'm Melanie Standiford, Midwest Media by Melanie.